Hello, whoa, whoa, yeah, welcome to another episode of Python and another episode of Matplotlib. And yeah, we are back to 3D plotting. Today was a more simpler topic than the last one. Many things are just, yeah, kind of reminder, but yeah, we are back to scattering and back to, yeah, we are scattering, but now in 3D. So yeah, let's keep those variables. I use kind of the same code as last one, but we are not doing plot, surf, uh, plot surface. We are still using plt point figure and a, um, x equals plt point axis, but now we are using x point scatter 3D. Yeah, using three variables as an input and let's just run it. Here we go, and we got a dot at position one, one, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like always, kind of hard to find the dot, but here we have a dot. Okay, but this is pretty boring. So let's. Yeah. We have our numpy array. Let's try it out. Let's do x, y, z. Let's do it with our numpy arrays. Um, yeah, as a quick reminder, here we get arrays containing yeah random floating point numbers from zero to one. Let's do it, and yeah, here we go. Now we uh, we scattered a lot of random yeah dots. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty self-explaining. So of course we can have an array of integers, so we can use rand integer, low, high, and yeah, size equals 100. Now let's check. Okay, and of course, the, I guess the issue here is that we get, yeah, different d-types. So if we are using it like this, it works, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, he has floating, uh, one where we have those floating point numbers, one array, and the y and z array contained, yeah, yeah, contained floating point numbers and the x array contained um, integer numbers. So you have, yeah, the d-type of each axis has to match. But now we can do stuff like, yeah, yeah, we can decrease the lower one like this. And yeah, looks the same because he's just altering um, the look or of the axis. But yeah, let's just add 99 and yeah. Let's do x point append. This should work. Append. Yeah, but because we're numpy, we have to use it like this. And p point append. Like yeah. Ninety-nine is the value. Let's do it. Let's try it kind of having a numpy. Now we got it. So yeah, what I wanted just, I wanted to put all the dots on one axis and yeah, I was adding one dot, which is in a yeah kind of different place. We get most of the dots at the ground or at the wall. And yeah, that's how you can do it. So we can do like always different markers. Marker equals, let's do star using, yeah, an asterisk. Also possible now you can see, let me do it a little bit larger. Here you can say, see, we got asterisks and 
yeah, we can also, of course, change the color. Color equals mm, red. Now we got red little asterisks. And here we can add another one. I will, yeah, do it now like a total noob, but yeah. Let's do it like this. 10, 20. And yeah, color is now green. That's one again, should work. Yeah, it works. Now we got, yeah, green. We got a, yeah, kind of green one or a, yeah, potion of green ones, green stars above the red stars. Yeah. Can do it again. Just uh, make sure the, yeah, the range of the new NumPy array is between new values. So now we can add, ah, tell me, um, cool color blue and let's do little shapes with S is for shapes and you can just google what different markers are existing now we got little shapes above the green stars and yeah now let's mix in uh, what do we do what do we want now Let's do from 0 to 40, size, uh, let's do one, let's do 399, and of course here it has to be 400, and yeah, scatter, after shapes, so let's do, mm -hmm. uh, let's do tri triangles, triangles. Oh, yeah, of course not yellow, uh, of course not blue, uh, blue, I wanted yellow ones. Here we go now, yeah, there are a lot of yellow ones between them. Oh, I'm totally stupid. I have to do it like this. And yeah, now triangle and yellow. Here we go. Hmm. Why doesn't it work? I want to add yellow triangles. Why doesn't he do that? Oh, I guess I missed PLT point show. Yeah, I missed PLT point show. Okay, now here we go. It looks like a lasagna with some Eldritch ingredients. Yeah. And for that, yeah, let's have a look at, let's have a closer look at our little, yeah, lasagna. Here we go. I guess if we try this lasagna, you will instantly turn into some yeah, Eldritch abomination. And with that in mind, I wish you a wonderful evening, dinner time, night time, whatever time it is in your country. See you and bye bye. And I have to find the button to end this video.